I've been wanting to go to Bass Rock for a decade. Ever since I volunteered at the Scottish Seabird Centre over 10 years ago and learned about this mystical island that holds the largest gannet population in the world. On my first day of volunteering, I learned that David Attenborough had just visited the rock hilt. Join me today as I get to visit Bass Rock. That one was hitting me in the head. That's some images I really want to capture here. I really want to try for the shot where I get the birds on land, a little bit out of focus, and then a bird kind of sharp as it comes in. Um, there's a good few shots I want, but that's one of them. Other than that, it's just trying to not be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of birds that's here and uh, just take it easy and try and find compositions that I like and birds that are doing some good behaviors and go to places for a background as well.
This is one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Absolutely amazing. You basically have to walk right next to the gannets. And they don't quite like it, so they try and kind of spare you a little bit. Give you a little bit of a warning to back off. I can't even count how many times I've been shot on and almost hit in the head by gannets. You stand here photographing and then they come tumbling down. They're a little bit clumsy, so every now and then you just feel like this wind rushing over your head from one has almost hit you and you just see the back end of it as it keeps flying. That is such a cool experience. And there are apparently, now at the height of breeding season, there are about 150,000 gannets northern gannets here in Bass Rock and I was reading a book yesterday which was talking about somebody been here in the 80s and at that time there was about 7,500 pairs of gannets apparently in the 80s they, uh, the, the humans that were here left and after that the population has just exploded and I can't recommend enough to come here and try out one of these photography trips when you actually get to land in a place like this it is just an unbelievable experience. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to lie down here a bit and get this low down angle view with the gannets. It's hard to actually separate any because there's so many of them close together. It's hard to get them one, one on one or anything like that. I'm a little bit covered. I have to say, they are a little bit scary. They have a wingspan of 180 centimeters, pretty much as tall as me. It is an incredible place to be. A bit smelly, but 
That is a small price to pay. What an experience this is. Let's go again. I have to give a big thank you to the Scottish Seabird Centre who provided me with this opportunity to land on Bass Rock. And I can't recommend enough to take a trip like this. I've taken other trips in the past where I go sailing around the different islands here for photography and I've also landed on the Isle of May. Now landing on Bass Rock has definitely been one of the highlights of my work as a wildlife photographer. But I can recommend all of these trips. I'll put links below to the Scottish Seabird Centre where you can book any one of these trips. And it's a quick trip south of Edinburgh and I can't recommend it enough. So thanks again to the Scottish Seabird Centre.